Hi guys, it's Belle here. Um, I recently finished uh, a patchwork themed bee journal. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave links somewhere in the cards. Um, I was so inspired whilst making that that I kind of got on a roll and ended up making a patchwork bee ephemera journal kit. Uh, this will also be available in my shop. Again, I'll leave the links down below if you're interested. I don't normally share my ephemera on here, but I was really pleased with how this turned out. I was really happy with the way it looks. So I thought I'd come on and share it with you. Um, I do love my fabrics. I'm not a perfect sewer or stitcher or and I can't use a sewing machine greatly, but I love working with fabrics. So. so the first thing in this kit is this fabric flip. All of the pieces have a patchwork effect using the same or similar fabrics, some of this bee fabric, some flower fabric, and I think everything also has a couple of buttons on it as well. These ones are green and yellow. So what I thought to sort of show you how it would work is, uh, this is a journal someone made me last year. They made me it for my birthday, so which was really lovely of them. You know who you are, thank you. And um, yes, yeah, so this is how fabric flip works. If you didn't know already, although if you've seen any of my videos, I tend to put fabric flip in the, every journal of mine. And it just attaches onto the top of the page. You can glue this on and um, it just lifts like that. It's got, you can see all the stitching on the back of it um, and where the buttons are stitched on and it just flips on. And then you can keep something secret under there or a picture on there or I don't know, whatever you want on there. And again, you could either stitch this on yourself if you're making your journal by, um, from scratch or you can glue this on with some fabric glue. So the first thing is a fabric flip. Next is, hold on. Next is um, a snippet patchwork belly band and it's got lots of fabric. It's got these two buttons up here, lots of beads bits of lace, more bee fabric, more lace. It's got six different buttons on it. I've left this one a bit longer than your usual eight by five, just because I don't know who's gonna buy it and what size. This can be trimmed. I've left enough room at the bottom here that it could be cut um, easily and then glued. And that would go on a page like that. And then you would stick a journaling card or something underneath. Uh, it's just beautiful again you can see all the stitching on the back it's quite sturdy because i've used the fabric and then stitched it onto canvas um so yeah it's sort of a fake patchworky my version of patchwork and then you've got two oh, there it is two sorry um little fabric embellishments with lace and buttons now again I use these several ways. They can be just attached onto a page just like that and it just gives such a lovely texture and look in your journal. Or if you've got a journaling card, say, you can t actually attach them onto the top of a journaling card, um, which I have done before, or on top of a tag, but I just really like them on a page. Um, and I've done the buttons slightly different colours. So you get two of those. So that's a fabric flip, a snippet belly band, two little side ephemera pieces. Then there is an altered fabric paper clip, again with lace and B and buttons. And again, this just, let me find another page so I can do this one on. Oh my gosh, all these pages. Uh, here we go. So it just fits on like that. And again, it just gives such a beautiful look to a page. And then you could tuck something under that way. Tuck something under there. Or on the other side, you could tuck something under there. So either way. But yeah. Little fabric embellishment, uh, paper clip then we've got two tags now the first one is a large tag it's got a cross stitch bee on there that I've done 
um, not my design but one that I've stitched again completely patchwork stitched onto fabric then it's um, backed onto a thin card with some of my handmade yellow hand dyed um, paper and it's got some seam binding at the top and a little um, eyelet just there and that's a really good size journaling card to give you an idea that's sort of the size it is on a page an eight and a half inch page so it's a really good size journaling card lots of space to write on the back and then we i made a smaller journaling card this one backed onto a white tag and it's smaller i didn't want to do the whole thing i wanted to get the white around the edge you could ink around this i've left it um clear without inking for whoever um buys this some more buttons some more b Again, backed with my hand-dyed yellow fabric and seam binding up there with another eyelet. And then finally is a large journaling card. I love journaling cards in my journal. I love making them for journals and I love um, using them in my own journals. Just gives you so much space to write. Again, this is patchwork backed onto fabric. And you've got lace and the little bee fabric all through. Some sari silk, which is on some of the other pieces too. Again, the, my, one of my cross-stitch bees. You can see its wings if you look at it that way. Because obviously they're sort of a pale white on white. Some buttons. It's stitched around completely around the edges. Left some fraying on these edges because I like the look. Also did the same, obviously, on the tag. Left some fraying on there. And then that's backed onto thin card just like the tag and then backed with my hand dyed yellow paper and sewn all around and that obviously this is a journaling page so if you had a pocket it would fit in the pocket like that really easily or if you have a belly band say like that's the belly band this might be too much on one page but you have the belly band and that would go underneath the belly band like that obviously there's a bit of dimension with the buttons but the great thing about tags and that is obviously you can take them out so that is the kit you get one fabric flip get a snippet belly band large journaling card large tag hoping i can get all this on small tag we'll go in there two little um, embellishment pieces and a fabric paper clip that is the complete kit all in a sort of bells patchwork snippet style <laughs> with some cross stitch so let me know what you think down below i really love this ephemera kit um i had so much fun with it let's bring it down here let me know what you think down below would you be interested in seeing more things like this um and uh yeah what was your favorite piece what did you think was fun do you use fabric flips in your journals because i know not everyone does i have heard people say what what's the point of a fabric flip but as someone who loves fabric if i can get as much fabric as possible into my journal in one way or another i'm going to do it and i love fabric flips can give you that little surprise element and it gives you a little secretive element in your journal too um anyway let me know what you think down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like what you see but haven't subscribed yet please do every subscriber is so much appreciated and that's it for now wherever you are in the world i hope you are well safe and having lots of crafty fun and until next time bye